the development you refer to is huge. I mean, really huge. And uh, it isn't just Amazon, but it, Amazon is a huge part of it. And, and the, what they've accomplished in a, in a fairly short period of time and continue to accomplish is remarkable. The number of satisfied customers they've developed. And we don't make any decision uh, involving uh, even the manufacturing of goods, the retailing, whatever it is, without thinking long and hard about what the world will look like in five or 10 or 20 years uh, with that powerful trend, really hugely powerful trend that you just described. So we're not, we don't look at that as something where we're going to try and beat them at their own game. You know, they're better than we are at that. And so Charlie and I are not going to out Bezos Bezos by a long shot, but we are going to think about that. It is a huge that 20 years ago was not on anybody's radar screen and lately has been on everybody's radar screen. And many of them uh, have not, and including us in a, in a few areas, have not figured the way to either participate in it or to counter it. Uh, uh, the Geico is a good example of a, a company that in an industry that had to adjust to change and some people made the change better than others. We were s slow on the internet. The phone had worked so well for us and you know, this traditional advertising and the phone had worked so well that, uh, you know, there's, there's always a resistance to think about uh, new possibilities. When we saw what was happening on the internet, we, we jumped in with both feet and, you know, with mobile and whatever, but, but uh, there are capital, the nature of capitalism is somebody's always trying to figure, if you've got some, a good business, they're always trying to figure out how to, how to Im take it away from you and improve on it. And, and the effect, I would say just of Amazon, but others that are playing the same game, the effect on, on industry, the full effect is far from having been seen. I mean, it is, it is a big, big of force and it will, it already has disrupted plenty of people and it will disrupt more. But I think, I think the fellow that, I think Amazon's got a real advantage too uh, in a, this intense focus on having, you know, hundreds of millions of, of generally very happy customers getting very quick delivery of something that they, they want to get promptly and they want to shop the way they, they shop and they, and if I owned a bunch of shopping malls or something like that, I would be, uh, I would be thinking plenty hard about what they might look like 10 or 20 years from now. But anybody that doesn't think that online isn't changing retail in a big way uh, and that, that anybody who thinks they're totally insulated from it uh, is correct. I mean, the, the world is changing big time. I have no illusions that that 10 years is going to look from now is going to look anything like today. If you think about it, you know, if you go back 100 years to the great department stores, what did they offer? They offered incredible selection. You know, if you had a big department store in Omaha, you had you had a thousand bridal dresses. And if you lived in a small town around the local guy had two or something of the sort. So so the department store was the the big exciting experience of variety and decent prices and and convenient transportation because people took the streetcars to get there and and then along came the shopping center and they took what was vertical before and they made it horizontal and they changed it into multiple ownerships but they still kept incredible variety and 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 uh, assortments and convenience of going to one place and 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 accessible transportation because now the car was the method and now you go to, and you know, and then we went through the discount stores and all of that. But now you've got the internet, and you've got the ultimate in terms of 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 uh, uh, assortments, and you've got you've got people that are coming in at low prices, and and the transportation is taken care of entirely. So the evolution that has taken place, the department stores, 
is, is, is online now, basically, except much expanded in assortment, much more convenient and, and lower prices. So uh, the world has evolved and it's going to keep evolving, but the speed is, has uh, increased dramatically. And what will happen with brand, the brands are, are going to be uh, tested in a variety of ways that, that and have to make decisions as to whether they try to do it online themselves or work through, a, through an Amazon or whether they try to hang on to the old methods of distribution while embracing new ones. There's a lot of questions in retail and in branding that are, are very interesting to watch. And, and you'll get some surprises in the next 10 years. I can promise you that. Charlie? It's, it would be certainly be unpleasant if we were in the department store business. Just think of what we avoided, Warren. Yeah, we got very lucky, actually, because we were in the department store business, and our business was so lousy that we recognized it. If it had been a little bit better, we would have hung on, and we owe a tremendous, our tremendous gratitude uh, to Sandy Gottesman, our director, who's here in the front row, because he got us out of the business when Charlie and I and Sandy were partners in that, and something we paid $6 a share for, I think it's worth about $100,000 a share now because we got out of the business. And if it had been a, a somewhat better business, you know, it might be worth 10 or $12 a share now. So, so sometimes, sometimes you get lucky. Uh, we don't miss it either, do we, John? <laughs> oh, she'll go. No, we don't miss it. <laughs> he asked that we're going to be using the Internet. Warren is a big Internet user compared to me. And, but... I love it. <laughs> he plays bridge on it. Yeah. I use a lot of other, I, lose, I use search. I, I, it, 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 it's been a huge change in my life. And it cost me $100 a year or something like that. I mean, it, if I had to give up the plane or I had to give up the internet, the plane cost me a million and a half a year. The internet cost me $100 a year. You know, I, I wouldn't want to give up either one of them, but I'd give up the plane. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> But our, Charlie's given up both. <laughs> are we uh, are we going to be doing more? And I think everybody's going to be doing more things on the internet. It is growing in importance, and so, like it or not, we're dragged into modern reality. Uh, Doesn't sound like he likes it, does it? <laughs> no, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like multitasking. I see these people doing three things at once, and I think, God, what a terrible way that is to think. Uh, I am so stupid that I have to think hard about a thing for a long time, and the idea of multitasking my way to glory has never occurred to me. <laughs> yeah, but at any rate, the Internet is here, and it's going to be more and more important, and everybody's going to think more about it and do more about it, like it or not. And, of course, the younger people are way more prone to use it than, than we are. But, but Berkshire... You have what? How many Bloomberg's now? In the office? Yeah. You have two or three. Mark? I don't know. They don't tell me about them. They sort of hide them when I come in. At any rate, <laughs> we're, we're into the modern world. We have, we have, three. Mark Hamburg tells me we have three, but uh, uh, we'll reevaluate that situation when I get back to the office. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh, we're not paying for one. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Let's see if we can not pay for two. <laughs> now, the Internet, and it's changed many of our businesses. I mean, it's changed Geico's business very, very dramatically. And it, 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 it's, it's affecting, it affects them all to one degree or another. And so it, it's, it's amazing to me. I mean, people get pessimistic about America. I think just think in the last 20 or 25 years or well, just 20 years on the internet, uh, how dramatically it's changed your life. It's not over yet. Uh, it, uh, there's all kinds of things are going to happen to make life better. And Charlie may not think the internet makes life better, but when I compare trying to round up three other guys on a snowy day to come over to my house to play bridge,